Hey Scorpio, it's your girl Alex and I am here to provide you guys with another reading. Uh, today is Friday, November 17th. My November 17th baby. Happy birthday. I know this is pretty random, but I know Vanessa Moon, she she's a tarot reader. Today's her birthday, so shout out to Vanessa Moon. She's one of my go-to readers on YouTube. Um, November 17th, happy birthday. November 18th, the caboose, baby, happy birthday. November 19th, happy birthday, and happy birthday to my beautiful cousin in heaven. I miss you. God bless you. I hope you are resting peacefully. November 20th, ooh, woo, happy birthday, babies. All right, let's see what the universe has. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you for all of your love and support. The birthday wishes in the comments, text messages, calls. I had such an amazing birthday. It was probably the best birthday on record. Yeah, yeah, I, I was just so excited. And shout out to my boo boo for making it special. Um, he bought me just an amazing, amazing gift. Oh. I, I, I don't get, I don't get impressed. I don't get, you know, like I don't, I'm not a person who is ever at a loss for words, but whoo, he outdid himself. Thank you, boo-boo. All right. What we got? What's, what is going on here? I have a king and a queen. Happy excitement, joy at home with some sort of achievement. Uh, financial stability, um, curiosity. Some of you may be looking for jobs. Four of Pentacles is feeling stuck and or blocked or stagnant or even secure. Uh, temperance in the Hermit is in due time. I feel like Scorpio, if for some reason there are any of you who are looking for more stable income, Page of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, I would say pray about it more than your job searching. I know that sounds weird. I promise you every last job I've gotten, especially within the last year, and there are a lot of them, <laughs> um, they came because I've asked God Angels Universe for them. You know, I spend time looking for them sometimes, but then I pull back. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. You in the wrong place. <laughs> you need to be on your knees praying. Mm -hmm. Does anybody ever, anybody still get on their knees when they pray <laughs> i'm just asking I'm, I'm just curious okay scorpio hold on you got a lot of wands you got a lot of wands Ooh, king of pentacles Ooh, child you got a lot of court cards king of pentacles king of wands king of wands queen of pentacles knight of wands knight of pentacles who child you got the sun card here twice this is going to be a great reading. For some reason, I hear head of household. I feel like somebody's holding it down at home. I also hear somebody may be interested in purchasing property, specifically homes. Um, Angels also said to me too, someone could be interested in the real estate market, whether you're purchasing and flipping homes or buying homes and renting them out. I feel like for my real estate professionals, um, there is, and I'm getting chills and this is weird, but I feel like there could be lucrative money in real estate, okay? Now, I am not a finance manager. I am not telling you what to do with your money, but what I'm getting intuitively, I am an expert in that space, intuitively, I feel like real estate investments could pay off huge, just freaking huge. All right, now moving on. Here we go. Do we need to go backwards? Uh, Angels just said, no, you have the backing. So yeah, queen of pentacles, king of pentacles, right? You would assume that they're a married couple. Let's, let's assume they're a married couple. They're a power couple. She's holding it down, you know, in the domestic space. He could be holding it down in the, the global space. Okay. Um, but angels just also said to me, when you think about your financial standings, 
I feel like there's a counterpart out there that's going to match your financial standings. So here it's a couple, but what angels brought to me is it could be loan approvals. It could be business partners. It could be investment companies. You know, it feels like there is an equality materialistically and financially. Okay. <clears throat> now, once I said that angel said, bring in the sun. Okay. So the sun highlights, the sun provides us with life. Thank you, sun. Um, warmth light. Cause this universe is really fucking dark, by the way, by the way. Um, and the sun also provides us clarity. Okay. Um, visibility. Okay. So my angels are saying, start looking into it. Start looking into it. I feel like the universe is shining a light on an investment or some sort of financial opportunity for you now. Sidebar, if you don't like it, fast forward. I was downstairs this morning when I went downstairs to grab my bottle of water. I said, you know, I need to post uh, something on a community page asking Scorpio, what kind of videos do you guys want to see? And people always say career, 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 right? So I was like, yeah, those videos don't do too well. Like Scorpio is interested in secrets and darkness and self-development and what other people are doing around them. Career and finance is probably the fifth or sixth thing that you guys are interested in. Statistically, and you know, from an uh, analytic standpoint, it's true. The numbers show what I just mentioned. So I was like, you know what? Maybe Scorpio needs some sort of financial reading at this time. So it's weird, not so much, <laughs> that this is coming up. Anyway, back to your reading. Yeah, I feel I feel like your financial stability is about to get a ginormous boost from the universe. I have to say it, it's a bit cheesy, but I have to say it. For many of you, I would even say play the lotto, right? Now, I, I can't really promote gambling because for some people it, it's, you know, it tends to be an addiction. But for those of you who might have, you know, you may dabble in gambling and I'm not talking about take the mortgage payment and go gamble. I'm like maybe $200 and just try your luck. I feel Scorpio within everything that I am, that you have this boost or burst of prosperity and abundance headed your way. Now, you got a boatload of Leo on this table. Uh, did I see the Queen of Wands? That was in another spread. Okay, I have Leo here. I have Sagittarius here. All right, Knight of Wands. Um, and I have Temperance. So I have Sagittarius there in a double placement. I have Leo here, Leo here, Leo here, Leo here. So if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, I feel like this is your reading. I feel like many of you are going to receive some sort of motivation and or drive or jumpstart aha moments from this reading. I feel like it's time to take your dollars and invest them, right? Take your $1 and invest it and try to convert it into $2 and then $4 and then $8 and then $16 and then 32 million, right? That, that's what angels gave me. <clears throat> angels said, you hit it right on the nose, Alex, because many of them have been thinking about that. It's been on their mind. Many of you, maybe for about three weeks, three days. Yeah. Yeah. You've been thinking about how to convert your current funds into more long-term financial stability. Okay. This kind of concerns me. Four of Pentacles. <laughs> uh, four of Pentacles in a star card. <laughs> I had a Capricorn friend once and he was such a fucking cheapskate. I mean, he was cheap and, and I'm talking cheap. We would go out and he would barely leave a tip or leave, you know, the minimal and we would go out to sports, sports bars. These are like 10, 15 years ago and, or maybe 10 years ago. And then he decided he wanted to invest in a sports bar. 
and the sports bar eventually crumbled. And I knew it was going to happen intuitively. I knew it. And I said, I'm giving this example because of these two cards. You can't be a cheapskate and then invest your money, right? Because law of attraction says, um, um, energy goes where attention flows or attention goes where it's the same thing, right? You can't be a cheapskate and then want to prosper, right? You can't have cheapskate energy miser holding on to stuff and then expect stuff to flow to you. It, it doesn't work. It is cosmic cognitive dissonance. It doesn't work. <coughs> My angels just said, isn't cognitive co cosmic, isn't cosmic cognitive dip, um, dissonance just law of opposites? Yes, angels, you're right. <laughs> right? You can't be a cheapskate and need and want to, to attract prosperity. So this concerns me because I feel like for a lot of you, if you don't have the money to lose, right? That $200 to go gamble, you have to assume like, yo, I'm sacrificing this $200. So you have to be willing to lose and give it away, right? Because that's a part of flow. Flow says, you know what? I have to lose this $200 because the next person who's about to hit this $200 flows to them, right? Now, for many of you who are sucking your teeth and ro rolling your eyes, watch this. Well, what about the person over here who's about to lose theirs that's about to hit you, right? That's what flow is. Sometimes you have it, sometimes you don't. Here's the damn wheel of fortune when you need it. Sometimes you're up, and sometimes you ain't. Okay, so if you are a cheapskate and you're trying to manifest, you are praying, you are literally on your knees praying, you know, dear Moses, I need $20. Baby, you ain't never give nobody $20, so you can't get $20. All right, I'm moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I know my angel said you have a perfect way of pissing Scorpio off into the truth. I'm sorry, Scorpio. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm much better. I, my throat is just dry. That's what the coughing is. And it's the morning time. So my voice hasn't matured. <laughs> anyway, four pentacles and a star card concerns me, Scorpio. You got to be willing to lose in order to win. Flow, 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 wheel of fortune. Um, so for many of you, if you if you are having financial challenges, I would just say, you know, kind of take some time to med meditate and, and really focus on your relationship with your money. OK, if you don't like losing it, if you don't like investing it, if you don't like just giving it right, just giving it. Um, it takes money to make money. So if you don't like giving it, this ain't your reading. Have a great day. Angels just said a new, a new, um, source of income, maybe passive income. Okay. Uh, page of swords, three of cups. Uh, curious being curious about happiness. Joy. Oh, some of you are wanting to know if I'm. Mm, I don't know. Somebody, I kind of feel like someone wants to know, should I start this business with my family? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. If your family is the three of cups, everybody's on the same page. Everybody's responsible. Everybody's accountable. Everybody's motivated. Everybody's putting in money. Go for it. Okay. Angels also said, by the way, those are the guidelines for going into business with people. Is everybody on the equal page, right? Again, you got the, everybody's putting in money. Everybody's got a job to do. Everybody has the same um, determination and everybody has the same goal. We've all, we're all agreeing on the same goal. Okay. If one of those things is off, yeah, don't do it. Don't do it. The King of Rods with the Queen of Pentacles says to me, <clears throat> excuse me, this says to me, Scorpio season is like Scorpio's New Year's day or New Year's period. 
So for a lot of you, yeah, you, you, you had your solar return and you're looking for a new way of doing things or a new outlook or a new chapter. You're just ready for the newness. Angels just also said to me too, this King of Wands for some of you is, is anxiety, right? Anxiety to me, aside from being hormonal, anxiety to me is uncontrollable excitement, right? It's excitement that you can't contain, okay? And I said this in a previous reading, there is an incredible thin line between anxiety and excitement. Anxiety to me is almost like the negative side of the hormone. Excitement is the positive side, okay? So I kind of feel like this, this is representing for many of you excitement for some of you anxiety. Oh my God, I got so much to do. I got to get the business license. I got to open the account. I got to, you know, go to the IRS. Um, but I feel like with the queen of pentacles here, queen of pentacles represents financial stability, but she also represents a boatload of freaking independence. King of pentacles, queen of pentacles being your own boss. Some of you may decide to go into business with a partner or spouse or lover specifically. Now this is weird and take it as it resonates in your own situation. Okay. <laughs> no, no. I heard, um, that it would be a good idea. Okay. But what I laughed about was my angels was like going into business with your spouse, like going to get a bunch of rocks. Okay. For my urban people and deciding you want to, you know, take up all of this side of Chicago or New England or Boston or <laughs> that's not what we're talking about. <laughs> oh my God. For everybody else who doesn't know what rocks is, uh, in other words, it's almost like, um, some of you, this does not mean, you know, go into uh, business with your partner on an illegal endeavor. All right. Oh, here's the wheel of fortune. I was like, where's the wheel of fortune when you need it? Here it is. Sun card and wheel of fortune. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, it's your time. It's your time to prosper. Um, the, the king of wands and the death card. Stay motivated. Oh, death of the ego, right? Because my angels just said transform this king into this king. So steady the race, right? This is a marathon, not a sprint. King of wands, it's, it's a damn high pole jump or it's an obstacle course, <laughs> or it's a hurdle jump, right? The king of wands is balls to the walls. Let's do Clap was loud. But the king of pentacles is patient. King of pentacles is like, listen, it's going to happen. It's going to come. I only have one queen on the table. Interesting. Two kings. Okay. I like the star and the temperance because that says to me in due time, this knight of wands is yeah, saying pace yourself. Um, remember a long time ago, I said this in a previous reading, Warren Buffett and, um, Bill Gates sat down with an interviewer and they asked both of them, what is the key to success? And Bill Gates said, patience. Okay. Uh, there was a quote in all things, patience right? Patience is the key to any success. That's why the Knight of Pentacles is here. This Knight of Wands, balls to the ball, get rich quick, avoid those, right? Um, in business and anything that's going to last, uh, yeah, blow up viral, you know, that, that first initial, oh, the, the, the public or consumers getting a hold of it and then sales shooting through the roof. That tidal wave effect is beautiful but eventually it levels out. Okay. And angels are also saying too, for those of you who did have any sort of blow up related to your finances, career, or business. Yeah. Plan for it to level out, plan for the momentum to keep going. Not only that, but now that I've discovered the, the wheel of fortune here, you're going to have your highs and lows. So when, yeah, sales are through the roof, take some of those funds and plan for when you're at the bottom, when sales are in the basement and not through the roof. Oh, all right. Okay. Angel said, go to the third row. Let's go to the video. 
Sagittarius season is going to be pivotal. Angels are saying, uh, if you say, for instance, if you're starting to develop something during Sagittarius season, which is quickly approaching, um, they're saying, give yourself a goal by Aquarius season to have all of your money uh, saved up. Uh, what is this by July by Leo season you should start to see some sort of return on investment um, I do feel like for some of you again this is not going to resonate with everyone it was so funny because I just saw look at I saw the king of swords queen of swords and then there's Leo okay so <laughs> sorry I was thinking about that Capricorn friend again um, he was really surprised when it didn't work out. And he, <laughs> I was like, uh, it's pure math. But I feel like for some of you, talk to your friends and family, again, that meets that criteria and rewind it if you need it. Talk to your fr friends and family about maybe how they can help, about, you know, use them as like maybe a focus group. You know, hey, what products do you guys think the world is needing? Or... What problem are we having as consumers that my business can solve? Many of the, they said that's one of the major traits of millionaires and billionaires is that they try to solve a problem for humanity. Okay. Amazon knocked it out the freaking park because they created a service for us. Um, to get goods and service, number one, immediately. I think that's why Amazon blew the fuck up because they get your products and services to you right now, okay, within a day or two. Um, also, and then, again, I'm not a financial advisor. I heard the next industry <coughs> that's blowing up is drop shifting. Drop shifting, as an example, is, say, for instance, and I'm going to use a wonky example, Say, for instance, a car company like Kia, okay? Drop shifting is I'm going to create a website and I'm going to offer Kias at discounted prices, okay? And you're going to pay me and then your Kia is going to be delivered from the Kia factory itself. So it's almost like you're the front, you're the front man, you're the sales force, right? Customer facing, interacting with customers but you get your products and services directly from the warehouse manufacturer, okay? I heard that industry is blowing the up. Okay, I'm talking million dollar status. And again, <coughs> I'm not a financial advisor, but research drop shifting, drop shipping. I think that's what it is, drop ship shipping. <coughs> mm. Oh, whoa, okay. Okay. All right. Mm, mm, mm. I heard drop shipping in real estate. So I know we just recently used a service where we just went to like an apartment finder type company and those companies are in, they interact with apartment complexes, homeowners, you know, whomever. And basically they found us a place and we didn't pay them anything but I believe that the real estate, the homeowner, whomever pays them. So at the beginning of the reading, real estate, real estate investment, for some of you, you may open up that type of service where you help people find housing. Ooh, woo. I may research some of that. Angel said, don't go into full spread. Okay. Six of swords. Cause this is going to be an hour of reading. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me, my throat is dry. Uh, Six of Swords, Death Card, and the Nine of Cups. So I think we pulled these two first. Yeah, this is a shift into more of a happy, fruitful environment. Nine of Cups is that Buddha love, it's that drunken love, it's that, you know, slap happy, fall down because you, you know, you're so happy, you, your, your ducks and your coins are in a row. And Six of Swords is move, moving over into peaceful environments. So, you know, moving into something that's, again, that tidal wave, that crest, and then leveling out. So Six of Swords to me is almost like 
Some of you are slowly approaching uh, this new lucrative financial environment. <laughs> My angel said, some of y'all are barreling forward. But again, this is the night you need to be versus the Knight of Wands. Because this night eventually is going to burn him or herself out. Okay. I also feel like with the Death card and the Nine of Cups, I do feel like this is a channel change as in you're moving away from one industry, one career path into something totally different, totally new. But Sun card here, Nine of Cups, Six of Swords, I feel like it's going to be good. King of Pentacles, Four of Wands in the outcome position with the Six of Swords. I, I, mm. Angels just said, for, I was just going to, let me finish that. I feel like it's going to be lucrative. Okay. But my angels just said, um, some of you, you're bottomed out. You're bored, right? You've reached the pinnacle of your career. Now angels are saying, is it time to shift over into another environment? Just asking. You have the three of cups here, the star card, the sun, the star next to the sun, the two cosmic um, stars, especially in our solar system. I do feel like the universe is wanting you to at least inquire. Okay. Three of cups with the three of wands. Yeah. It's, it's with your solar return, Scorpio. It's time for you to start looking into and investing into what's going to make you happy in the future. What's going to make you happy going forward. So if I had to ask you, Scorpio, and this is a dumb fucking question, right? In other words, it's an unrealistic question. What would it take to make you permanently happy, right? The unre unrealistic part is the permanent, right? Because it's no such thing. But what would it take to make you happy? Scorpio, for you, <clears throat> because you are a fixed sign, stability, especially financial stability, that's key, right? But let me pose another question. What you gonna do when you become financially stable, right? So say for instance, you hit the lottery for 15 million or you go gamble and you, you hit the jackpot for 15 million. Okay. Now you're financially stable. Then what? Right. Angels just said, then they'll have to try to achieve this happiness. Cause one thing, especially I know for myself personally, when I got to the point in my life where I actually could pay all of my bills in one paycheck, y'all remember them days. I pay all those bills in one paycheck and you have money left over. So you have money left over and you started playing. Okay. I can go get this and I can get that. Well, when you went and got all of those things, now it's like, ugh. all right, I'm bored. Like what else can I do? You know what I mean? Now I kind of understand why certain people, they hit the lottery, but they keep their jobs. I wouldn't, <laughs> but I understand why, because it's like when you've traveled everywhere you wanted to travel, when you've done everything you wanted to do, then what? Now that, that message is not going to resonate with a bunch of Scorpios because I feel like a lot of you guys are still in the process. You're still in the process of achievement and goal setting and that's okay, right? But I feel like there is a message here for those of you, again, who have achieved that financial stability. There's that big ginormous question, now what? Wheel of Fortune Sun card, it's now time to find a new spark. It's now time to find a new interest. Okay, well, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it there, right? You don't, yeah, I didn't pull out any Oracle cards. Um, I feel like I've butchered the message uh, enough for you. If the reading does resonate, Scorpio, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And we're meeting tomorrow, tomorrow, November 18th, 2 p.m. Eastern, our, our Scorpio Hangout. <clears throat> Link is in the description box below. Um, yeah, you're looking and thinking about that next great thing. But again, pace yourself. Don't go too fast. And make sure you have enough money that you're willing to gamble or lose sacrifice. Thank you, angels to sacrifice for this new, exciting venture. Knight of Pentacles feels like long-term, right? Cause that night takes forever. Okay. But he's going to hit his goal. And not only that, that's income, right? That's, st that's a steady flow, steady flow of prosperity and abundance. 
inquire about, you know, what the public needs, what people need, go to your family, friends, whomever. Um, I do feel like this could be opposite energies. One of you is ready to do, let's just do it. Other ones, wait a minute, we need a practical approach. I do feel like this venture is going to kick off. This idea is going to kick off in Sagittarius season. And I just feel, I just kind of feel like you may actually, you may have a business partner in mind. I feel like you may cut them off. You may get rid of them. Eventually you may change partners. In other words, you get rid of this King for this King, because this King is on the same page as you, right? This King is in alignment with your goal or your vision. Um, and you're going to set off into, set off into, um, set off on this venture. And again, it could have something to do with real estate. It's almost like you're going to set up, set off. You're going to start babies basically and kick off the goal. The reason why I hesitated and paused because angel said within six months, I feel like you'll be into this new environment and we're in Scorpio season, Sag Capricorn <clears throat> Aquarius. That's three. So that's not six months. Okay. So Aquarius. Pisces, Aries, Taurus. This is Taurus. Okay. Okay. Taurus season. That makes sense. So for some of you, Taurus season is going to be huge, which is your polar opposite on the Zodiac chart. Okay. I'm leaving it there. I hope it makes sense. I just wanted to do a quick recap. I love you, Scorpio. Bye.